Hey guys, Rick Stone here from the blog Our Stony Acres and the Online Gardening School. Welcome to 5-Minute Fridays where I try and give you a valuable gardening tip in 5 minutes or less. Alright, before we get started this week, please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and also if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure that you like my Stony Acres Facebook page. Okay, we're out in the garden still trying to take advantage of the warm weather. It's uh, early September and we are standing in front of my grape arbor. Now I'll pull back and I'll do some cutaway shots so that you can actually see what the grape arbor looks like. We still have grapes on it and so it's still covered in bird netting uh, to keep the birds off of it. So this grape arbor is something that we set up to give us a really kind of a, a nice entrance to our backyard. So our vegetable garden is right directly behind it and we wanted to have something that was really nice so that when people came back into our yard there'd be this nice arbor. And then besides that, it's just kind of cool to have this you know, drape of, of uh, productive great plants. Now, um, it's a, a fun arbor. It's been, the arbor's been up for, this is its third summer. Uh, the grape vines are actually on their fourth summer. So this is really the first good productive year of grape production. And, and you'll see, I, we've got a lot of grapes. I probably should have thinned in the spring, but we were a little busy then. But I wanted to show you this arbor and then I wanted to talk a little bit about the advantages or disadvantages of growing grapes on an arbor. So if you choose to do something like this, to do a grape arbor, you are going to sacrifice ultimately some production, okay? Because this isn't the best way to grow grapes. The best way to grow grapes is with a wire and a trellis and all that kind of stuff that you, that you read about in the books or you see on the, the ag colleges videos and stuff like that. But an arbor is not the most productive way to grow grapes because you don't get as much sunshine. The canopy is, is really sometimes kind of heavy. And, and so it's a little bit funkier. The other thing is, is it's, it's difficult to, to prune your grapes for productivity when they're on an arbor. Now, as the years go on, and, and I start to kind of get some established trunks. Now there's two plants, one on each side, two grape plants that are covering this. As, as I start to get some established trunks, I'll be able to prune to those and you know, work that way. Right now it's kind of just a tangled mess because we're only in our, our third year and we're waiting for things to get established. Next spring will kind of be the key for me on pruning this arbor and, and getting it really whipped into shape so that hopefully we can keep it fairly productive, but yet still give this really cool look that we have behind us, uh, you know, of a nice canopy and a walk through uh, with grapes growing on it and everything like that, which is what we were going for. So if you want something like this, just be aware that you're probably not going to get as many grapes on something like this as you would with the same plant grown in a more traditional manner. So that's basically what I wanted to to talk about today. So it's a fun option. It's a productive option. For me it's a better option than having like a flowering vine on it because it, it produces fruit. And we have such a small yard. We're on a quarter of an acre and we have such a small yard that I didn't want to waste valuable growing space on flowers when I could grow grapes instead. So it's a good option for that. But you know again you'll have some production issues. You won't have as much and it is going to be a lot harder to prune over the years because of just kind of the tangled mess of an arbor. So anyways, kind of fun. Uh, I, I put in the resource section uh, for this, both in the descriptions and the comments, a link to my uh, post that I wrote when I actually built the arbor. And I've updated it with some current pictures and, and things like that, but it'll actually go through the process. It was really fairly inexpensive. We only spent about $150 to build the arbor and buy the grapes for it. And so uh, fairly inexpensive to do. And it, we banged it out in about a, a weekend. You know, uh, we spent probably about 12 hours total on it. So anyways, uh, fun option. And uh, there it is. And so there's a, a link that you can see how I actually built it in the description section. That's it for this week. Uh, please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel that you like my Facebook page. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have questions or comments, or especially if, if you have experience growing on an arbor like this, I'd love to see pictures and you know any op options that you have out there that would uh, help other people as well. So please leave those in the comment section as well. And then also there's always a uh, discount coupon to the online gardening school. This week we have just a, a general 25% off discount uh, coupon that you can click through and go check out my online gardening school courses, which are pretty awesome. There's six courses there right now, ranging in length from an hour and a half to 
about five hours and uh, just good courses that I think you'll really enjoy. So make sure you go check that out as well. Okay, that's it for this week. Have a great week and happy gardening.